So, and it also tells us about metabolism in the sense if at all if the like CO2 is high, it can be because of the hyperthermia, shivering. Shivering is anaerobic and the metabolism, convulsions and the excessive catecholamine in the production, bicarbonate administration and all that. So this is the normal on the waveform with elevated under CO2. So, so, so this is the baseline and then the, the 40 is the, the marker. If it has gone above 40, it means it is it is elevated in the ETCO2. Yeah, so it is seen in malignant the hypothermia absorption during the laparoscopy, especially in the like post-op patients who come after the long-standing and the laparoscopic and the surgery. See, for all like patient required around like four to six hours of the laparoscopy in the surgery intra-abdominally, so they must have insulfated and the CO2 gas. So with that, if at all, if it has gone a diffusion into the blood vessel, so then and the CO2 will be on the rise and the tonic release, increased mus the muscular activity and during and the reversal and the shivering convulsions because of the anaerobic metabolism. And it also tells us about and the circulation. And as I told and earlier, the patients with a cardiac arrest, we can actually see improvise uh, on the chest compressions and also for uh, the ROIC as well. So, and also uh, predicting the resolution of the pulmonary embolus in the sense, uh, if, at all, if the patient had a pulmonary embolism, th and the dead space will be increased with that. So the CO2 also will be increased. So once you start doing liver under thrombolysis, the pulmonary embolus and the load will decreases, even the CO2 also will come down. So with the, uh, in those patients as well, it can be used. The breathing system. So if at all, if you have a like patient on the brain circuit or on, uh, on the Ambu bag, if, if at all, if you feel that there is any like problem with the inspiration and the expiration like wall, even with this, and you can actually and the make out and, and the malfunction of the breathing system. So whenever you're doing and the troubleshooting of the, on the ventilator. So if you see under ETCO2, if you see the saturations, depending on that, and you can actually uh, start doing the troubleshooting in that, and you can like, make out with incompetent inspiratory wall or expiratory wall and all that. So here, uh, elevated on the baseline. So this is a baseline, So but this on the wave is actually above than that. It is mainly because of incompetent expiratory wall because it is the expiration is not happening and the fully there is still some amount of the gas and the exerted absorbent. It is mainly for intraoperative and the OT use and the low fresh gas flow. So with a decreased ETCO2, it's mainly hyperventilation or increased dead space ventilation. So curare notch, it's more of uh, an anesthesia, which caused due to and the lack of the synchronous action between intercostal muscles and the diaphragm. For all, if you have a like, patient who is like paralyzed, if you feel that and the uh, patient is actually and the waking up from the and the paralysis, the muscle and the reversal is, uh, is happening now. So inadequate and the muscle relaxation. Then you can see curer in the notch in the, in the phase three. So then comes the spontaneous and the respiratory efforts. The spontaneous respiratory efforts also goes in like more favor of under curer notch, but spontaneous efforts happens in the in the initial part of and the phase three. So then comes biphasic expiratory and the plateau. It's more of the restrictive abnormalities of the lung or the one lung ventilation with the, the double lumen tubes and all that. So then comes, if at all, if there is any patient with a tachycardia, the cardiogenic and oscillations also can be under transmitted like through this end tidal and the CO2 waves, it can be actually under made out. But uh, yeah, now you can see the, the table, so which actually under tells us about how to troubleshoot it. If at all, if there is increase from the ETCO2, it can be because of the increase in the production and delivery to the lungs or it can be because of the decreased alveolar ventilation or because of the equipment and the malfunction. So if at all, if you using this gadget and you should know all these things. So if at all, if there is increased ETCO2, increased metabolic rate or because of the convulsions like shivering, the fever, the sepsis, malignant hyperthermia, the thyroid toxicosis, 
decrease alveolar ventilation, the hypoventilation, the respiratory center, depression, partial muscular paralysis, neuromuscular disease. So if at all if you feel that there is increased alveolar ventilation and the hyperventilation, it can be because of in the fever as well and sometimes and the equipment and the malfunctions, the problem with inspiratory and expiratory valve. 